Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's Power Up training for bulk emails. Uh, this service, just to start off, is something that we now include as part of your Rec Desk, uh, re your your contract with Rec Desk. But we include up to twenty thousand emails per month. So what that means is, if you've got four hundred people that you're sending an email to, that's four hundred out of that 20,000. If you need more than 20,000 emails per month and would like to have it linked to RecDesk and have it done through us, please reach out to your customer success manager or to support at RecDesk.com so we can discuss the pricing with you. Now, as I go over this training, please type any questions you may have into the chat box and we will review those questions at the end of this. So to send a bulk email, once you log into your director screen, you click on the Members tab. And then you click on Bulk Email Campaigns. <clears throat> and then you'll click on Start New Campaign. So this is where we're going to build the campaign that we're going to send out. So one thing we want to start out with is the campaign name. Now, members of the public do not see this information. This is this particular name is just something you see in house. But please feel free to use the same name up here as the subject line. Sometimes that helps. It doesn't have to be the same. It can be different. Whatever your needs are is what you'll be able to use. Uh, as the titles. The next step is figuring out if this is something you want to send immediately or if you want to schedule it for later. So for those of you who like to be able to send out newsletters for upcoming holiday events or maybe you want to wish all of the people who are born in a certain month happy birthday, you can set a schedule that'll pull those people and you can preemptively set a date and time that that is going to send. So if I wanted something to send on Monday, I would be able to click on the date for Monday and then choose what time I want that to go out within the drop down. Now, if you want to send it immediately, you don't need to do this step. You just hit cancel, schedule, cancel, so that it'll schedule immediately here. And the next step is selecting your recipients. For most of you, if you're going to send an email to everybody in your system, it's very simple. You just hit apply search, scroll down to the bottom, and then hit recipient list actions. Select if you want it to only go to their primary email addresses or if you want it to go to both their primary and alternate email addresses. I usually recommend that you use the primary and alternate email address option. That way, if you have, uh, let's just say, children in divorced households where one parent is a primary email and then the other parent is an alternative email address, it'll send it to both. Now, the one thing to, to also keep in mind, and you'll see this, um, as you're, you're choosing this feature. Right now, I see that I have 780 entries, meaning there are 780 members that I want to email. But if I were to select primary only, the number of unique email addresses is 320. Don't worry about this. What that the system is doing is it's naturally erasing duplicate emails. That way, if I have a family and, you know, part of the reason that my, Part of the reason is I have a couple families of 10 people in each household and all people in the household share the same email address. It only needs to send that email once. Now, for those of you who maybe want to send a filtered list, you can come in here and these are normal filters that you guys see across the system. But you'll want to click on show advanced options because this is where you can get into really detailed ways of emailing your customers. You're able to say, I only want to email my residents or my non-residents. You can even say that I only want to email people that are between a certain age or over or younger and put in the date, um, the, the birth date for what, what range you're looking for. If you want to reach out to only the people who are born in a certain month, so let's just say everybody in the system whose birth month is June, when I hit apply search, 
my list down here is going to filter to a much smaller list of 48 people who share June birthdays. Same thing for gender. If you want to email people based on the street or town. These tags, if you're using tags for, your, for tracking your members, you can also filter so that it's only people that have a selected or multiple selected tags. You just choose that filter. Now, one example I really enjoy showing here is let's just say you have a league coming up and you want to email everybody who's going to be participating in basketball this year. You would type in the word basketball to go along with the program name that they signed up for. And then you would say that I'm looking for people who are participating this current year. Now, because this is a demo site, please mind the fact that I need to use the actual full calendar year. Uh, I'm not 100% certain how many basketball programs we have, but you would just type the information in like this and hit apply search. And that'll give me the 89 profiles that have registered for a basketball program within this calendar year. And this works in a great way because this allows you to email all multiple age groups. So when you're setting up your programs for your leagues, instead of having to go in and email, you know, 8U, 10U, 12U, you'll be able to email the whole group together. And then you want to select again, choose the primary or primary and alternate email addresses, and then that'll connect them here. Decide if you want the email to go out as a BCC. That just means that no one knows who else you emailed. They only see that you emailed them. Two or CC will allow them to see the other email addresses that you are sending emails out to. So keep that in mind. And for many of our customers, they like adding themselves or somebody in the office as an additional person right here. And the reason they do that is so that it will, um, you know, if they're sending something up so that it goes out next week, it'll send an e they'll get the email at the same time as the members of the public are getting the email. So since we've already entered our subject line, this is the subject line of the email that they're going to see. We'll get into the body down here. This is where you're going to be able to type your messages. So you could say happy holidays. Um, this is where you can have fun. You can play with the font and you can play with the size, the color of your text. Many of us are very familiar with these icons. Uh, you know, we use them in our regular emails like bold, italics or underline, or even if you want it to be something that's centered. Now, some important things to keep in mind for sending bulk emails is right now, this part of the system does not allow for images to be uploaded. So there's two things I recommend, and it depends on how you want the information to show. If you just need to send them a file because they need to have access to that file, uh, like maybe your upcoming basketball group is going to be doing some type of fundraiser, so you need everybody to get the same form, uh, at the at form that you're sending out. You can either send it as an embed code, which will go over how to get embed codes, or for those of you who are using the content management piece of our system, with your document uploader, when you upload your documents, you're gonna be able to click on them from the community site. Now, if they're PDFs or if they're JPEGs, what's gonna happen is we're gonna get this URL up here. So we can copy that URL and we can even say click here for more information. And then I can make the word here by highlighting it and clicking on this link icon. I can paste that URL so that the word here is a clickable link. Now, whenever you are putting a clickable link in any piece of RecDesk, it is important that you click on that preview and you make sure that that link works correctly. We have noticed that some people have added a www to the beginning of their RecDesk site. So this is our demo site, this oakridge.recdesk.com. Do not add www to the beginning of your URL. 
especially if it's connecting to your rec desk site. That will not work. It will cause issues. They will not be able to get to the actual document. And it's strictly because of that www. So please just copy and paste from your community site um, in order to make sure that you have the correct URL. Now, for those of you that you want it to be a pretty, to be the actual flyer itself, or maybe you want to be able to send a picture of, you know, Frosty the Snowman. Uh, that you need an embed code for. And you do want to need to go to a third party site for that. That is not something that we offer at this time. What uh, some of you may do if you're uploading these flyers to Facebook or to your Instagram account, both sites allow you to be able to share and get an embed code. Now I'm going to show you how to use Flickr for this purpose. Flickr is a free site as long as you don't sign up for the pro and if you don't need the pro I don't recommend it and it, this will allow you to come in here so that you can upload photos to get an embed code. So when you log into Flickr you're going to click on this cloud with an up arrow that's their upload icon and you can either choose files here or if you're one of the if you're someone like me who likes to be able to look at my items um, in a shortcut view, you can do that as well. So I'm going to take a photo that I have here and I'm just going to drag that over. So once I'm sure that my flyer or my photo of my flyer shows up here on this site, I click upload and then upload again. And yes, I know they say yeehaw in that checkout, but apologize guys, we have no control over that. And the next step is to click on the image that you want to share. And then this little uh, weird arrow that kind of flickers out to the right like this, this is how you share photos. This is the same icon that you're going to see on Facebook and on Instagram. And that icon will allow you to get to the ability to see this embed code. And this is kind of what an embed code looks like. It kind of looks like a bunch of really weird data. And all you want to do is copy that and then come over to your bulk email. And the important step is to go to the HTML tab. And this is where I want to paste that embed code so that when I go to preview, I can see that flyer right there. Now, uh, a quick reminder and something that we always like to encourage, if you would like the photo or your flyer to fill the screen, when they open it, maybe you just want to send a flyer and you want the photo to fill the whole screen. I recommend that while you're in the HTML tab that you change the height, or I'm sorry, the width to 100%. That will make it so that the flyer or the image will fill out left to right and fill the, fill the screen for that email, whether it's sent on, uh, whether you open it on a cell phone or on a regular screen. Now, before you leave this piece of the system, one thing that I recommend is before you hit this save for send button and hit send test email, the reason I tell you to do this is it's going to send you an email within two minutes, but this way, before this email goes out to any of your customers, you're able to go to your computer your local email and click on that and make sure that it looks the way that you want the image to look. Make sure that you click on the hyperlinks and that they send you to where you should be going. You see, I actually sent that before it went through. So I made a mistake on my hyperlink. So now that I know I made a mistake, I can come here and I can fix this. So I can send another test email to myself. And again, click on the image or click on the hyperlink. And now I'm sure that that hyperlink is correct. And now that I know that that email is a good email, I can scroll down and hit save for send. Now you're going to see this word staged and or you may see uh, send save for queue, one of those types of phrases. Now, just so you're aware, when you see those phrases, what it is is that every two minutes, our system is running a batch job to send those emails. And when the system sends um, 
those batch jobs, it's not always the exact moment that you hit save for send. It's within two minutes of you hitting the save for send because you could have hit save for send right after the first batch went out, so it's waiting for the next one. So I can see I just hit the, the bulk email campaign button to refresh and now it's running and it's probably going to be complete within a moment or two. And that's all you need to know for the bulk email providers. Or to, I'm sorry, to send a bulk email. I'm now going to go in and answer the questions that I've had in the chat box. So hang on one moment. So Amy is asking why their bulk email configuration issue could not that if you're if you are logged in and you see a red symbol up here that says bulk email not configured. What that means is that we have not connected this piece of the system for you. If it is something that you would like, please email support at recdesk.com or reach out to your customer success manager to have them put that uh in order to have them connect that piece of the system. And just to make everyone aware, um, it is through SendGrid that we have our account. Right now we are maxed out of accounts, so we actually just requested some more users, and that can take about 24 hours. So if you would like that feature, just send us an email, and tom by tomorrow we'll be able to add you in. Abby is asking, how can we get an embed code from Facebook? When you make an announcement on Facebook, or you post a photo on Facebook, you get these three buttons and it actually says the word embed when you click on those three buttons. And that is how you can take the embed code right from Facebook. Uh, Instagram is the same thing. They either have that twisty arrow like you saw over here on Flickr or it actually says embed. Uh, and I apologize, I don't have Instagram so I am not sure. Andy is asking if you can add attachments to bulk emails. No, Andy, you cannot. That's why I'm showing you guys how to use the embed feature if you wanted it as a photo. If you didn't want something that was a photo, maybe you wanted a document to send them, it needs to be a URL. So if, it, if you have uh, access to the content management piece of your system, you can upload it to your forms tab. And then from your community site, click on that form and be able to and take this URL and you can send them that, that URL, but you do not have the ability to up, upload any other attachments at this time. So Abby is asking me to just review that width and height change on embed codes again. So I'm just gonna click on the same announcement we made. For some people, what they like to do is they don't, they want the photo to only be this piece of the system. They only wanted to take up this much room. But if you wanted to send a flyer that took up everything, while you're in the HTML tab, after you paste your embed code, it says with equals. And what you wanna do is change whatever the value is between the quotation marks to 100%. When I click on preview, that's gonna make it so that it expands the expands the image to make it full screen. And that'll also adjust the, the full screen based on a cell phone or based on a computer or a tablet or whatever device they're using at this time. You're welcome, Andy. And again, if any of you want this, this is included and just let us know that you would like us to connect this piece to your account by shooting us an email over at support.recdesk.com. Uh, and as a reminder, if you have any questions after this meeting, you'll be able to go to our support center. And you can always type the word bulk in here and see the article that we have written up for how to do a bulk email campaign. Or if you scroll down to the bottom, tomorrow there will be a video of this posted under the Power Up with RecDesk section. And it'll be uploaded here. So you'll be able to rewatch this, uh, uh, re this video tomorrow.